Happy Saturday. Mm. Just did my makeup. I don't know why I'm looking so pale. I woke up with some friends. I don't get it. But anyway. Um, so I am going... God, I look really, really pale. It doesn't look like this in person. Believe me. Um, we're going to go visit my dad. Who lives in the city. So... I'm going to head down that way and run some errands for him because he hasn't been really feeling well. Um, he has a doctor's appointment. I don't know. We don't know what exactly is the problem, but I need to put some lipstick on because I look horrid. Um, anyway, I'm going to have some breakfast now and then I'll head out. How has everyone been doing? It's been a little while. Um, I've just been really busy with work, really. Um, yesterday we went to a funeral after work, the hubs and I, and then we went to go visit someone in the hospital for the second time. Um, everyone is getting sick. I don't, why? I don't understand, but I'll just keep them in prayer. I'll just keep him in prayer, and I've been praying for my dad, so... Um, let me just go eat some breakfast so I can get some energy and I'll be back. So breakfast consists of two protein pancakes. They are really delicious. And a cup of coffee. Just step outside to leave and I encounter this. Think I have a problem? Yeah, I think I have a problem. I forgot how much stuff I actually ordered from Amazon. So let me get these packages in. Good morning, family, and happy Saturday. Thank goodness it is Saturday. Thank goodness. Because I'm so tired from this week. What an adventure this week has been. How was your week? I hope your week went very well and that it was productive and it wasn't ex as exhausting as my I can't even talk mm. mm -hmm. so let me just recap a little bit on this week and why I'm so tired and look crazy well I just bathed actually um, and I just you know threw my hair up I'm going to tidy up the house and then maybe take a nap mm -hmm. have some tea I need some tea today I'm going to sip on some tea and then I'm going to take a nap because your girl here is exhausted. And now I know why I have friends. So this week, Monday, after work, I get a phone call on my way home. I was getting ready to hop on the highway. And um, I received a phone call from my dad. You know, and he has his health issues and stuff like that. But um, he says to me, I'm not feeling well. And I need to go to the emergency room. Here goes a cat. Cat trying to open the door. Never fails. You hear him? Unbelievable. When he doesn't hear my voice, that's when he stops. See? He just heard me. Unreal. Anyway, so we, let me, let me, I'm going to let him in because the scratching will not stop. I'll be right back. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hmm? Would you like to say hello? She's sitting there looking at me. So, um, so we drive to his house, pick him up. He's very weak. And he, you know, dizzy, looked faint. He looked, he looked, he was in bad shape. Rushed him to the emergency room. <clears throat> um, and this was around 6.30, 7 ish in the evening. And um, where they ran a bunch of tests on him. And finally, around midnight, they tell us he's going to stay. He's going to be admitted so 
we then left, came home because I already knew he was going to stay. And I knew I had to prepare myself for the next day because he was going to need his dog to be walked and fed. And he was going to need some, you know, clothing, his pajamas and stuff. So that's what I did. The next day I had to call out from work. The hubs went to work. We were running on three hours sleep. Um, and thank goodness for my hubs. I mean, he is such a... God bless that man. Um, so I went to the I went to the house to his house first. Walked his dog and fed him. Took care of him for a little bit. Then went to the hospital and spent the rest of the day there um, until I came home. I came back home that night. And the next day, the following day, I went to work. But then after that, you know, at night when I would come out of work, I would go to the hospital. Anyway, thank God he's finally discharged, um, you know, with uh, kind of serious but not serious. Um, nothing that could not have been dealt with, um, just a change of meds. And he is feeling much better now, thank goodness. That was pretty scary. Um, very emotionally draining and physically draining as well so that is that so I need a nap today I'm going to sip on some tea and take a nap but I'm going to just tidy up the house is clean but I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and then I'm going to try to catch a movie tonight I'm going to try to go to the movies with the hubs and catch a movie because there's a new movie that out that that I really want to see because if you know me, you know that I love scary. Anything scary, haunted, ghosts, spirits, I'm in there. That's my thing. So there's a new movie called The Protégé. The Protégé, uh, what is it? The Protégé, something like that. Anyway, I don't know if you recall uh, back in the day when they made that movie. It was like uh, Damien, the little boy who was... You know, kind of possessed. I think this is kind of like along the same lines of that. So it's about a young boy. And I think he has some kind of powers. I want to see the kind of powers he has. <laughs> so I'm going to try to catch that movie. Yeah, I like staying in suspense. Uh, when it's not real life. So I'm going to just try to do that. But um, yeah, just relax in between. So I'm just going to go tidy up now. And um, sip on some tea. And I will see you guys back in a few.